gloss loss is a painting defect that can occur during the clear coat application process. The following tutorial will teach you how to prevent gloss loss and the most effective methods to repair it. Gloss loss in paint occurs when a repaired surface has a more matte and less glossy finish than required. This is a defect that is easy to observe with the naked eye and usually has no surface irregularities. The reasons for this defect often have to do with the preparation of the intermediate coat, the temperature and humidity of the environment, or the application method. A common cause of gloss loss is related to the pre-preparation of the intermediate coats, especially during the filler application. A correct sanding process and respecting the product's drying times will influence the correct preparation of the intermediate coat, preventing a possible absorption of the finished gloss by the lower coats. We must choose the solvent and hardener to be used according to the technical datasheet and the ambient temperature when preparing the mixture. In higher temperatures, we will use slower hardeners and solvents. With milder temperatures, we will use medium hardeners and solvents. While, for low temperatures with high humidity, we will use fast hardeners and solvents. Failure to periodically maintain the booth and plenum extraction filters can influence possible gloss loss. The correct capacity of this extraction equipment will enhance the absorption of fogs resulting from the application, preventing them from being deposited as a thin coat on the recently applied clear coat. Failure to observe the drying times and temperatures specified in the technical datasheet is a practice that can lead to a gloss loss in the top coat. In addition, we should not perform any polishing or shining of the surface until the paint is completely dry. To solve the gloss loss problems, we must wait for the clear coat to dry completely in order to then assess the seriousness of the problem. If the defect is superficial, start by sanding the affected area at a P1500 grit, increasing the grain as needed. Then, machine polish the surface with a cutting polish, and finally, glaze it. If there is still an absence of gloss on the top coat, polishing will not be sufficient. We will have to prepare the part to restart the painting process from scratch, sanding it until reaching a surface without defects, then apply the filler and finally top coat.